Right, so I bought these RCA WD shocks, but I'm not sure if they're the right ones for TRX4M. So we'll just have a quick look at them and see. And if they are, then we'll fit them. If they're not, then I won't. Let's have a look. They don't, they don't want to be. No, they look too, they're too small. Shit. Yeah, they're too. Um, they're too small. They'll probably be suited more for one of the little. 124s rather than the 118s. Yeah, the nice little shocks though. So I might put them on something else. I've got another couple of another couple of 124s coming, so they won't go to waste. So I'll just put them to one side for now. And I'll have to measure the size of these. I think. I've seen somebody say they would put an upgrade of 58 millimeter shocks on them, so I'll have a look at them. I mean, these are oil shocks anyway, but I'm just not too keen on them. So instead, we're going to go and fit, fit the bead locks that I put together yesterday from Endura. And I've also ordered a few more bits and bobs upgrades. I've ordered the front. This bar here. Uh, I've ordered the skid plates and diff covers, um, and I've ordered um, a servo mount for now, and then oh, and the four links and drive shafts. So when they come, I'll fit them. But in the meantime, I'll probably order a few more bits as well next week like the front hubs um, and the covers for the diffs as well I can't remember whether they ordered them or not but for now we're going to put these um, I'll put these wheels on you can see they're a nice different size I'm hoping the lighting situation is a little bit better as well I managed to get bought myself some more some more lights so that should light me up a little bit better the only thing is bloody blinding me looking at them so yeah there's 28 little nuts in total to put in these which is quite shocking some spares there um, I think these have got and I think I found a place yesterday when I went out for a bit of a I went out for a ride on my bike to go and pick the car up from the garage and I noticed a bit of a, a muddy path down the old down the old meadows as we used to call them um, it's all overgrown and that now so I think that might be ideal for, for taking this down there for a little bit of a run so I might go down there in a day or two so I'll take them plastic hubs off there And we'll put the metal ones on. I'm hoping the pins will still be the same so I can keep the same. Oh, well, that's a bit of a bum deal. No, they won't fit. Stick, stick with the plastic ones for now. Um, so I'll maybe get some more of them upgrade them so any any little any more weight up front will help. I suppose. I don't know whether these wheels will fit with these. Oh, there we go. I can see the difference in the size now. I can consider the difference. We'll see how it goes for now. Um right, let's get this get the nut on. Do a little bit of 
bit of fast forward in so you don't have to watch me doing all four of these. Right, so what I've discovered when putting these wheels on, that screw the nut in all the way because it catches the catches on them five, them six on the inside. So I've just had to remove them first, then put the wheel on and can tighten it up and then you have to re screws back into the wheel afterwards. Which is going to be a bit of a pain in the backside. Every time I want to take the wheels off, I've got to take them five nuts out each time. So as I'm spinning this now, I'm only just getting clearance on them out outer bolts. So you can see. So as I'm turning to tighten it up, I'm only just clearing the that's just tight now and it's just cleared the bolt so now what you have to do is put them five inner ones back in but I'll do that later do a bit more fast forwarding Right, there we go, so already you can see the difference with the bigger wheels compared to their ones. They're very squishy, you feel a bit more, they're still flexible and squishy. Um, we can feel the weight just with them, we still have wheels now, so once I've added a bit more weight up front um, and added the links, it should should be a lot better. So. I'll go and get the radio, power this on, and just give it a quick tootle outside over some bricks or whatnot and see what it's like. Um, in the meantime, put them somewhere safe so I don't lose them spares. And then also I'm gonna put the original wheels onto the 118. I'm gonna swap them over to these. Um, let's just do that real quick because I don't know I'm just not a fan of these wheels on this uh, FTX Outback the tyres are, are too thin for my liking so I think they might look a bit better uh, see the difference on them very squishable. So let's whack them on there. Just see what they look like. Give that a quick tighten up. That's that one done says as it's still going right that's that one and then take these off yeah I don't know I just I think it might look a bit better with these wheels on take that one off put that one on I'll just put two on for now just to have a look. So there's the original wheels, and then there's the TRX wheels. Quite like them, they look a lot better. They don't stick out any more than than what they do, but you can see size in them compared to the them ones. I might give that a bit of a run outside as well in a bit. It's got still got the same clearance for the wheels turn, so yeah, I like that. Right, I'm gonna get the radio, plug the battery in, give it a quick spin outside. Also, I can test out the 
the new lights so I'll probably Endura stickers on the bodies and we can test out these new uh, new lights and see what the ground clearance is like plug that in just give the battery a quick plug in wow we can tell the difference wow that is an amazing difference in weight absolutely wow you wouldn't think it but yeah they stick out quite a bit on each side no no more than what the original wheels stuck out by well, they're quite bright but yeah you're not going to get you're not going to get full damper flex with them on but all in good time well, that's another thing done we'll go and get the radio give it a run to see what it's like weird but it feels a lot smoother you know what I mean in fact the flex isn't too bad goes up this lot with ease now. Yeah, no problem. One handed is a bit tricky. Absolutely flat out over everything now. And you see that bit of a go right up that, no problem. I'm not. Beautiful.
So there we go. It definitely feels like it runs a lot smoother. Um, I can't believe the difference in the weight. It's unbelievable. It's hard to explain, but it feels like it goes over everything a lot smoother than what it did. Um, and the same applies with this. Just give this a little run outside as well. Um, just with these fatter tyres compared to the squishy soft ones. Um, that seemed a lot better too, so I'm happy with the look of that. That looks pretty cool, so that's staying as it is now. Um, I might do some more upgrades to that at a later date, but for now that's staying as it is. But I'm going to get some more upgrades for this. I'm going to upgrade the shizzle out of it. Um, but yeah, I need to do something. I don't want to... I don't like the the tyres touching the body anymore, it never, it never did that before, so um, I'll get some, uh, get some shocks that I can adjust and raise the ride height maybe, um, so I definitely need to get some adjustable shocks so I can raise the ride height of the body and then that won't, that won't happen, but for now I'm happy with that. Um, Next time I get a few more upgrades, I'll I'll post again, and eventually this will be upgraded for as as far as I can get it, just like the 110 version really. But obviously it's going to be a lot cheaper than what the 110 version is with it being so small. But yeah, I quite like that now overall. Them wheels, uh, I mean it's got quite a decent. I don't know if it's me, but that lock seems to have improved. I don't know. Um, that light's come out again, I need to put a bit of glue on them, stop them coming out, but anyway, there we go, job's a good one, and I'll, uh, I'll see you next time, peace.